hello welcome again to this tutorial on thoughts we are going to look at multiplication and division so we take our first problem simplify each of the following so we have uh, five problems here to be simplified we start from a part of the problem square root of 8 times square root of 6 um, here we are going to work by factors of the numbers given to us and uh, we also look at if there is a factor of the given numbers that are perfect square so we look at uh, 8 here 8 is 4 times 2 so we expand it as root 4 times root 2 then 6 is 2 times 3 so we have it as a uh, root 2 times root 3 so since square root of 4 is 2 so we have 2 there root 2 times root 2 is 2 so we have it multiplied by 2 then multiply by root 3 so what we do now is simplify so 2 times 2 gives 4 so our answer is going to be 4 root 3 so that is the product of root 8 and root 6 so we go to be part of the problem 3 root 3 multiplied by 2 root 2 so remember 3 root 3 is 3 times root 3 and this one will be times 2 times root 3 so we collect the terms with rational numbers and the irrational numbers so that is 3 times 2 then times root 3 times root 2 3 times 2 gives 6 and uh, root 3 multiplied by root 2 gives root 6 so we have root 6 and our final answer is 6 root 6 so we go to the C part of the problem here again uh, 15 is 5 times 3 so I have fa root 5 times root 3 24 is 3 times 8 and uh, we can have uh, a factor of 8 that's a perfect square that's a uh, root 4 so we now have it as root 3 times root 4 times root 2 so since 3 times 4 gives 12 12 times 2 gives 24 so we have it as expanded as we can see so here root 3 times root 3 is 3 um, root 4 is 2 so multiply by 2 root 5 times root 2 will give us root 10 so multiply by root 10 3 times 2 gives 6 so final answer is 6 root 10 so we go to the D part of the problem here we have a 2 root 5 squared 2 root 5 squared is root 2 root 5 multiplied by 2 root 5 we collect the rational so we have a 2 times 2 times root 5 times root 5 now we simplify we start from the irrational numbers so root 5 times root 5 gives 5 5 times 2 10 10 times 2 gives 20 so the final answer is 20 so we go to e part of the problem now root 12 times root 3 um here i can just say root 36 since root 12 times root 3 is 36 so root 36 gives a uh, 6 this is just the solution of the simplification of e and uh, we go to problem 2 in division since the denominator is an irrational number we are going to resolve it to a rational number so the process of doing that is called 
rationalization and the language is just rationalize each of the following so we start with the a part of the problem what we do here is to take the irrational part of the denominator which is root 6 use it to multiply both numerator and denominator so we now have 3 times root 6 over root 6 times root 6 3 times root 6 will give us a 3 root 6 this is over root 6 times root 6 gives 6 so this is over 6 and uh, this is not in the simplest form since this is 3 times root 6 and this is 6 here we can say 3 goes here 1 3 goes into 6 gives a 2 so that our final answer now will now be root 6 over 2 so we go to the b part of the problem in the b part of the problem again we look at the irrational denominator which is root 3 we use it to multiply both numerator and denominator so we have root 2 times root 3 over root 3 times root 3 so we have multiplied both numerator and denominator by root 3 root 2 times root 3 gives uh, root 6 so I have root 6 there over root 3 times root 3 gives 3 so we have it over 3 please in this B A and B these two cannot divide root 6 neither can this 3 divide this uh, 6 in the root 6 so please take note of that we go to C part of the problem in the theta part of the problem we have mentioned earlier that it is the irrational part of the denominator we are going to use to multiply both numerator and denominator so we say this is 6 times root 2 divided by 5 root 2 multiplied by root 2 as you can see it's only root 2 we are using to multiply both numerator and denominator that's just it that is the best option if you multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 root 2 you still get the same answer but it is more tedious so we simplify 6 times root 2 gives uh, 6 root 2 then over um, root 2 times root 2 is 2 2 times this 5 gives 10 so have our answer as 6 root 2 over 10 and we cannot leave our final answer like this since uh, 2 can divide both 6 and 10 2 goes into 6 gives uh, 3 2 goes into 10 gives 5 so I now have my answer as 3 root 2 over 5 that's the solution of the rationalization of 6 over 5 root 2 then we go to D part of the problem 5 root 2 over 2 root 5 so again the irrational part of the denominator is root 5 so we multiply both numerator and denominator by root 5 so 5 root 2 multiplied by root 5 over 2 root 5 multiplied by root 5 then we now simplify both numerator and denominator so root 2 times root 5 gives root 10 so multiply by 5 gives 5 root 10 over root 5 times root 5 is 5 5 times 2 gives 10 so 5 can divide here so 5 goes into 5 gives 1 5 goes into 10 gives 2 so our final answer will now be root 10 over 2 so that is the end of the solution of problem 2 and uh, that brings the tutorial to an end please subscribe to our youtube channel Oninab resources like and share this video thanks for watching till we come your way again goodbye